baking cookbook that takes us back to yesteryear. This is a wonderful book, the very first book by B. Dylan Hollis, and I think you're going to be awfully excited about the 101 recipes inside. Almost every recipe inside has a picture, and you're talking about kind of taking a step back in time with the way we used to bake, but with a modern twist. Let's bring in Dylan Hollis, who is here to talk to us about this cookbook. <laughs> Congratulations on the book. It ships Tuesday, I understand. Yes, David. We're on the eve of publication. Very, oh, very, very it's so exciting. exciting. I have written a few cookbooks myself. I know what that's like. So <laughs> you are in for uh, a really exciting ride. So congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. This is a uh, fun. And as the author, I'd love for you to explain to me and to all of folks watching what Yesteryear Baking is all about. Yeah, so baking yesteryear, I spe I've spent three years on this cookbook, mm -hmm. compiling sort of all of the old recipes from our past generations, oh, our grandparents, great. our great-grandparents, taking the best of all of those recipes from the community cookbooks of the Midwest and all of these great places, right. Minnesota, I get a lot from them as well. And I compiled them together, I, I rewrote them, and um, created the best of sort of decade by decade. So the book itself is structured decade by decade. Right. So, you know, for example, if we start way back in sort of the 1900s, you know, we've got the, some wonderful hot cross buns here. Now, I'm a Bermudian. I'm from Bermuda. So let's head over here and talk about hot cross buns. Yeah, so this is a recipe I gathered from some families in Bermuda. Uh -huh. uh, one from 1903, one from 1907, and lastly from 1909. Right. And I compiled them into this hot cross bun recipe. And uh, you don't have a lot of hot cross buns in the United States. No, no, these are typically made at Easter time, yes? Yes. Yes, if I could have Easter every day, I'd have it. But yeah. Oh, they're a little sweet. <laughs> That's right, yes. <laughs> Allspice and cinnamon. And uh, it's a lovely yeasted raised dough. You don't have to do the crosses if you don't want to. But yeah, buttered, warmed up with your coffee first thing in the morning. Fantastic. It really lovely. All right, now let's make our way to, is this grasshopper pie? This is? How did you know? Well, it looks like grasshopper pie. <laughs> it's green, right? It um, is. Talk, talk to us about grasshopper pie. Yeah, so this is from our 1960s section, as you, or if you might not have known, grasshopper of course, the cocktail, sort of invented around 1918, sure. um, sort of mint, uh, mint flavor, your creme de menthe, your creme de cacao. And it, let me tell you, if there's one thing that history has proven, it's that mint never goes out of style. Never, ever. <laughs> and chocolate mint, even better. Oh, that's right. Oh, my goodness. There's a chocolate cookie crust? Yes, precisely. Chocolate cookie crust. And then this is sort of like a nice cream cheese. Nice. Whew, perfect for summertime. And it's very light. Oh, yes. Which is lovely. All right. Let's keep moving. What's in the skillet here? All right. So this is the Continental Johnny Cake from the 1920s. That's just old people speak for saying a good cornbread, David. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and made in cast iron, which I love. Made in cast iron, yes. And this sort of captures my idea of what baking yesteryear is all about. You know, these days, it's nice to have things on your table that look nice, that are fancy. Mm -hmm. But uh, sometimes we get too focused on impressing our guests with looks. Sure. And this is good old-fashioned home-style baking, perfect amount of honey, scalded milk, done in a cornbread, and ooh, I don't know. I could add. Now, in addition to that, you've got ambrosia salad here, don't you? Boy, talk about old-fashioned. This is lovely. <laughs> yes, this is from our non-baked section. So even though it is called baking yesteryear, not everyone wants to, you know, throw up the oven. So this is a refrigerator can... favorite, right? It is, yes. Minnesota. Like I say, you don't have to um, throw on the oven any of this. So it's polarizing. What is your mm. opinion on ambrosia? Oh, my word, it's so good. <laughs> yes. I love the chunky fruit inside. I love the cloud-like consistency of the, oh, this is, oh, my word. And then the pecans on top are great. Oh, yes, nice little, nice crunch to it. But, yeah, I, I like the salads that aren't really salads. <laughs> Let me take, a, uh, take you on a little uh, look inside the book because this is extraordinary. You've got about 82 of the recipes have color photos, yes? Yes, nice, thick photography paper. Mmm, look at this. Tomato soup cake. Oh, <laughs> tomato soup cake. Maybe some cornbread with that, right? <laughs> That's right. Mmm, look at that chocolate sauerkraut cake. Oh, oh. my word. Dream mm. bars. Yeah, so the, baked the, apples. Yeah. Potato donuts. What? <laughs> Spud nuts, we like to call them. Oh, so great. 500 of these are out the door. Whipped cream. What is that? Whipped cream cake. Yes, so that's an old school cake uh, during wartime when you couldn't make an angel food cake. So, a trick to make a nice light cake with uh, half the egg whites. Peanut butter bread. Oh. oh my word, this is so great. And I mean, I, this is like sitting in my grandma's house looking through her old recipes, her recipe box, yes, right? Yes, the variety from yesteryear is immense. And I've done all the work for you in this lovely Wait book. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Wait you a minute. found the worst of the worst section. 
<laughs> Look at that. SpaghettiO <laughs> Jello rings. Are those Vienna sausages in the middle? Uh, yes, they are. Oh, my gracious. <laughs> You are speaking my language now. Oh, my word. And I love the photos of you in here as you kind of, as a young man, are taking your, your trip through the, through the decades, right? That's right. That's right. Oh, yes. this is called Baking Yesteryear. It's shipping on Tuesday, and this is Dylan's very first cookbook. 800 of these are now out the door. Many of you are looking to pick this up on 5Pay. Remember, that 5Pay goes away at end of day today. It's all part of our Black Friday in July weekend sale That's price. Right. And real quickly, before we run out of time, what are these cookies? These are not cookies. These are actually peppermint patties, as the kind peppermint you would find patties. in uh, yeah, this And this pie, or this uh, pie or cake? 1980s PB&J cheesecake. Peanut butter and jelly cheesecake. You want to have a little piece of it back here? <laughs> I'm going to have just a little bit of that. Go for it. Tell me what you think. That's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's right. And so all good. Good things dessert. I want to congratulate you on this first book, and you are in for an exciting, wonderful time this week. Thank you so much for being here, sir. Thank you kindly. And good luck on your book launch. Cheers. Hey, we are very, very busy with this item. Please.